Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove element. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums and also an integer value. And we have to remove all the occurrences of this integer value present inside the array nums. And we have to do it in place, which means that you cannot create a new array to solve the question. You have to work on the input itself, which is the input array nums given. And here you can see that the order of elements may be changed. And we have to return the number of elements inside the nums array which are not equal to value. So after removing all the occurrences of the value inside the nums array, you have to find the length of the array which is consisting of the elements which are not equal to value. So we have to return this value k which represents the first k elements inside the nums array which are not equal to value. So here as you can see, we are given the array nums and the value is 3. So here 3 is present here so you remove both the 3's and you get 2 comma 2 so here the output will be 2 representing these two elements inside the array and here in this case the value is 2 so you remove this remove this remove this and the remaining elements are moved to the front without maintaining the order of insertion so 0 0 1 3 0 4 so 5 elements are remaining so 5 will be the output which are the first 5 elements after you remove those elements too. So here the value is 3. First I start with an index i which is pointing at the beginning. I check if this element at i is equal to the value. Yes it is equal. So I swap the last element from the end and push it to the beginning and remove the size of the array. So length is initially 4 right. I remove this element because it is equal to num this 3 will be removed and this 3 will be moved to the front now i will still remain the same because we performed the operation now again i check if this element is equal to the value yes it is equal so i swap it with the last element inside the current array this element will be replaced with 2 and we decrease the size so first we removed one element so it became 3 now again we remove one element it became 2 so there are only two elements. Now since we made a swap, I will still remain the same. We check if it is equal to the value 3. No, it is not equal. So we move further. Now i is equal to 1. We check if this value is equal to 3. No, they are not equal. So we move further. So this will happen until i is less than length of the array. Length of the array is 2. i is equal to 2. So 2 is less than 2. This condition will fail. So we end our iteration. And finally, whatever is present inside the value length will be returned as the output. So 2 is the output as expected here. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So first I'm finding the length of the array. Length for this example is equal to 4. If you take the first example, so it's having 3, 2, 2 and 3. And value is equal to 3. And i is starting at 0. So i is here. i is less than 4. 0 is less than 4. If that current element 3 is equal to 3, yes. If it is same, then replace that element with the last element and decrease length. So this will be 3 will be replaced by 3 and length will be decreased. So 4 will become 3. In the next iteration, I will remain the same because we made a swap. So this will be removed from the array because length is now 3. We are only considering till here. We are checking if this element is equal to 3, yes. So again, we swap that element with the current element here so this will become 2 and we decrease length length is 2 and we remove that element now in the next iteration i is equal to 0 again 2 we are checking if this 2 is equal to 3 no so i will become i will move further so this else block will be executed because 2 is not equal to 3 so i is 1 now since 1 is less than 2, yes, we are going to check if 2 is equal to 3, no, so move further. Now i is equal to 2, length is also equal to 2. Since 2 is less than 2, this condition fails, you come out of the while loop and return whatever is present inside length. Length contains 2, so 2 will be returned as the output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the nums array. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.